Okay, so first question, how can a virgin give birth to a child? What a brilliant question. Well, first thing I'd say, actually, you have a dilemma here. Uh, you would have a choice, uh, actually, in this room. You can either believe in the virgin birth of the universe, or you can believe in the virgin birth of Jesus. What I mean by that is, if you are an atheist and you believe that matter is all that there is, you somehow have to account for the fact that suddenly an entire universe winks into existence and in the, in the, for, in the form of singularity explodes and gives us a big bang. And that's a massive issue. And in fact, one of the biggest philosophical questions of all is why there is something rather than nothing. See, science explains how stuff behaves. It doesn't tell us how we have stuff in the first place. So the virgin birth of the universe is pretty miraculous because you have nothing beforehand. On the Christian side of things, yes, Christians believe, uh, and we've just been through Christmas a couple of months ago, we probably, those of us who don't have a faith, may know the story, that uh, Jesus' mum, Mary, gives birth to him without the intervention of a, of, a, of a man into the proceedings, but that's not a virgin birth from nothing, because behind the universe stands the creator of the universe, and God has the ability to intervene in things in the same way that we do. And you need to be careful if you're not a Christian here, whoever asked that question. I assume the person who asked it was a guest, here today, because sometimes you can have the assumption, oh, Christians believe that miraculous things just happen. Virgins just give birth to babies, or people just pop back from the grave. That's not what Christians believe. Rather, we believe there is a God who is active behind the universe. And we need to remember um, that the first Christians 2,000 years ago, uh, that civilization was pretty sophisticated. People probably actually knew more about things like childbirth and death than we do. We may know some of the medic medical bits a bit more than they did, but they knew pretty well back then that people didn't just give birth to children without there being a husband involved, which if you know your Christmas story, that's why when Joseph, Mary's husband, hears about it, what well, husband to be hears about this, he assumes that she's been playing around on the side, makes out, makes it, he's gonna divorce her quietly because he knows full well where babies come from. So you have the virgin birth of Jesus, or the virgin birth of the universe. Pick your miracle. I think the virgin birth of Jesus is the lesser miracle because there's a God involved who can bring it about rather than the universe is magically appearing from nothing.